with the cloud cover, those eclipse glasses that you have probably didn't get as much use as they would have had the sky been blue. Right, but smartly, you and I, and hopefully you had them handy. Now what to do with them? Well, one Rochester businesswoman is asking us not to throw them away. Jatira Marsh joins us now in studio to tell us what she plans to do to give them a second run. Jatira. Teresa, Adam, the plan is to take the solar eclipse glasses that you wore today and drop them off at a location so they can be used again for the annular eclipse in October of this year. Marilla Gonzalez is the founder and owner of Marilla's Mindful Supplies, which offers products that are plastic free and sustainable in an effort to reduce waste. Instead of toothpaste in a plastic tube, we offer toothpaste tablets. Instead of having to purchase the laundry detergent bottle over and over, you can refill it and uh, many other options. And to keep up with these zero waste efforts, an idea sparked when it came to the eclipse. I was dreading the aftermath of the eclipse of seeing all these disposable glasses on sidewalks and in nature, um, much like we experienced with the masks during the pandemic. So she decided to use her storefront locations as a drop off for solar eclipse glasses and has connected with an organization that will put them to better use. The next place that they're going to experience eclipse near us is in October in Argentina and Chile. So all the glasses that we collect are going to be sent to school children and people in those areas so that they can experience it and hopefully it'll be a little less cloudy and they'll really need those glasses. <laughs> and to cut out any hassle, she asks you to bring them to either one of her storefront locations. If you have U.S. made Eclipse glasses, gently used, those are preferred. But if you're not sure, just bring them anyway and we'll sort through them and talk to the folks that need to be talked to and make sure they get to the right place. Marillis has two storefront locations, one in Geneva and here in Rochester. I'll have the address and store hours to both on our website, which is rochesterfirst.com, if you'd like to drop yours off.